Good morning, fourth grade. <clears throat> On lesson 10 6 today, we will be talking about how to find and draw lines of symmetry. How do you find lines of symmetry? Well, how many lines of symmetry does each polygon have? Look at our activity. It says draw a triangle like the one shown so all sides have equal length. Then we have to figure out how many lines of symmetry. Remember, a line of symmetry means it will create an exact figure, a mirror-like figure on the opposite side. Now, if you have these materials at home, you may use design blocks or building blocks. If not, you may just draw them like I did. Um, you may draw the triangle on a piece of paper and fold the triangle in different ways to test for a line of symmetry. Draw along the folded lines that are lines of symmetry. For instance, this is a line of symmetry. It says, is there a line of symmetry if you fold the paper horizontally? In this picture, it's, it is drawn vertically or folded vertically and there is a line of symmetry. If I folded that triangle horizontally, I would have a line here and it would not be a line of symmetry. So the answer to our question in the purple box, is there a line of symmetry if you fold the paper horizontally? No. Now, um, it says repeat the steps for each polygon shown. Complete the table. We just completed this one. So it says number of sides, there are three. Number of lines of symmetry in a triangle. Now, they have three written lines of symmetry and you'll have to fold that to find those. In a square there are four sides. How many lines of symmetry? Because you could fold it up and you could fold it horizontally and you could also fold it diagonally up and diagonally down. With a parallelogram there are a number of sides for your lines of symmetry are two, one straight down and one going to the other end. Rhombus is a very similar situation, number of sides, four, and the number of lines of symmetry, two, one, two. Now a trapezoid has four sides but only one line of symmetry and that's because these two particular sides are not the same length. These are, but these are not. So it cuts out that extra line of symmetry. So your only line of symmetry is going to be a vertical line up and down. Now, interestingly enough, a hexagon has six sides and six lines of symmetry. It might be interesting to cut one of those out and see if you can fold it and find all of those. In a regular polygon, all sides are of equal length and all angles are equal. What do you notice about the number of lines of symmetry in regular polygons? Well, our possible answer is the number of lines of symmetry is the same as the number of lines of sides. For instance, with a square, it's four sides and four lines of symmetry. Now, on activity two, I did not have pattern blocks, so I drew my figures. It says make designs that have line of symmetry. Make a design with two lines of symmetry. So they did the first one for you. Then the next one says make a design with one line of symmetry. And I did one triangle with one line of symmetry. Then the next one says make a design with more than two lines of symmetry. And then the last one says make a design with zero lines of symmetry. So something that no matter how you drew a line it would not make a mirror image. Our Sharon show says the shape at the right has line, has line symmetry. Draw the two lines of symmetry. And they have one going straight up and straight across for your line of symmetry. On the back, it says tell whether the shape appears to have zero lines, one line, or more than one line of symmetry. Write zero, one, or more than one. The first one definitely has more than one line of symmetry. And the 
number three definitely has more than one line of symmetry. Now our butterfly only has one line of symmetry and our sea creature here um, has zero lines of symmetry. Now and on your own you'll do six through 22 and then when you're finished with that please do 10 6 out of your practice book. Thank you.